Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be a reading all about what's going on for you in love. What do you need to know about this other person and where is it all headed? As always, it's meant to be a general love reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation. Flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Check out your other placements. I have videos for every um, sign. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides. What's going on for love for Libra? Okay, we have patiently waiting, waiting, patience, faith. What's going on for Libra in love for August 2021? Okay, we have moving forward, movement, cycles, endings. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Okay. What else? What else do you need to know for Libra in love? All of the decks that I'm using are in the description box if you're curious. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, there you are. Okay, so you could be dealing with another air sign, or this is you thinking about making some sort of move here. Nope, put them back like this. So let's clarify all of these energies here. For Libra spirit. Tell me about all of these energies for Libra, please. What do we need to know? Tell me about patiently waiting. Well, oh, that was quick. King of Swords. So maybe this is you patiently waiting for a message, um, waiting for a response to a message, communication of some sort. Maybe you're wanting clarity. Six of Swords. Oh, and then the Moon. Yeah, you want clarity about something, Libra. Pisces energy with the moon. There's something that you are not clear on or sure about. Um, maybe there's something you don't know. I don't know if you're in contact with this person. Um, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you want. And for some reason, you've waited for this. So that tells me it's almost like this clarity. There's There hasn't been an opportunity to get this clarity before this. Like maybe you're not in contact with someone or you are not able to see something or get clarity about something maybe because you're not there to see it. Something like that. Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you are... There's, there's no movement, no progression. There's nothing going on. Almost like um, I'm picturing you in like... Um, like a way, like you're not able to, like there's silence here. Tell me about moving forward. I will be clarifying these a little bit more with my other deck. Tell me about moving forward. What's this energy about? The lovers, Gemini energy. Can I get one more about moving forward? Queen of Swords. I feel like you or this other person, feel free to flip it if it resonates more. But someone's trying to decide if they should just move on. And it's almost like they want clarity so they can decide this. Tell me about this air sign energy. Tell me about this air sign energy. Knight of Pentacles. Oops. Can I get one more? Okay. 
Ah, what is going on? So some sort of big offer here with the Knight of Pentacles, an offer, offer that takes time to arrive. Can I get one more for this air sign energy? Okay, my deck just, they don't want to give me just one card, so I'm just going to take these here. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, Strength, Leo Energy. Of course, you can't see these because they're on the edge here. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. I'm going to have to get clarity on these because the message I'm getting is that someone is needing to have courage to maybe have an end of a cycle here. Maybe they are overthinking a situation or feel stuck in a situation. So let's get some clarity here. Can I get some clarity please for Libra? Now in this little deck I have upright and reverse so I can get a little bit more clarity. I want to start with this moon because I feel like this is where, I don't know, it's almost like the, the key here is this moon. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? The Empress. Why is the moon here? The Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Again with the Four of Swords. The Chariot, I don't know what's going on with my decks. They want to talk today. Especially for you, Gemini wasn't like that. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, Two of Swords, Eight of Wands, Reverse. Yeah, well, okay, so with Eight of Wands, Reverse, and the Four of Swords, there is no communication or movement. And I feel like someone is almost like stuck in, 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 in the middle of something here. Almost like they don't know something or they don't have the clarity and so they remain stuck. I feel like you're this Empress Libra. It's almost like you wanna get recognized or you wanna get chosen is what I'm picking up here. But someone needs to make a move and there is, that's not happening. Tell me about the lovers with the queen of swords. Six of wands reverse. Tell me about this lover's energy with the queen of swords. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Reverse, the Sun. Yeah, I feel like someone just wants to know the truth about something. And I think this is you. You just want to know. Some of you could be wondering if this person is single, free, independent. Um, I feel like this has not really been a successful connection. Like, I feel like this connection has not been able to um, manifest or you know get off the ground here now with this moon energy and this seven of swords reverse uh i don't know tell me about the seven of swords reverse you might find out something you don't want to know tell me about the seven of swords reverse okay we have the page of wands reverse why is the seven of swords reverse Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Three of Pentacles. 
So if someone's telling you that they're working on something or putting an effort in something, I don't think they are. I think this is this is almost like um, like like a lie. Yeah, ma magician reverse, um, queen of pentacles reverse, ten of cups, nine of cups reverse. Um, I feel like this is someone that wants to keep the peace, but there's no actual movement taking place. So if someone's promising you something here. I don't think it's the truth. Um, let's get into this mess over here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? And I think the reason, let me go back real quick. <laughs> I lied just now. Um, I think the reason that they have not told you the t total truth, Libra, is because they're afraid if they do, you might move on. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. the star aquarius energy tell me about this ten of swords healing hope renewal with the star why is the ten of swords here temperance yeah this is about definitely healing bringing back harmony sagittarius energy so whatever has ended here or whatever has whatever has felt like a betrayal Whatever loss there has been um, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, this could be a breakup, a promise being taken back, a loss, a financial loss, or a broken promise. Someone wants to fix this. But why the Strength card with the Eight of Swords? Why Strength here with the Eight of Swords? Why is the Eight of Swords here with the Strength card? Ace of Wands Reverse, okay. Why is the Eight of Swords here with the Strength card? Six of Swords Reverse. Again, this is someone that needs courage to do what they say they're going to do. You know, actions speak louder than words, Libra. Be careful. I feel like this person is trying to like avoid problems with you and I think it's just causing more problems. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone's emotions are genuine here with the Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. But I'm also wondering if that's kind of the problem or that's making it worse. It's almost like someone knows that there's love here and they might be using that to their advantage because i don't see them following through here for whatever reason tell me about this knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles here yeah nine of cups reverse so i don't see someone getting their wish the tower at the bottom of the deck with the two of swords and the lovers reverse this is a breakup here. This is a separation. These three cards right here is a breakup. I just don't know if this is with you or if this is something you're waiting this for this person to do. Take it as it resonates. The full reverse. Yeah, there's no new beginning here. There's hesitation. Um, someone is fearful. They're not able to take the risk um yeah they're not able to take the risk and i feel like this is something you should know for whatever reason and i don't think you truly know this or are aware of this okay let's get some insight into this person what do we need to know about this person that you might be dealing with here spirit what do we need to know about this person that Libra is or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this other person? Tell me about this other person that Libra is or will be dealing with. Tell me about this other person that Libra is or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person? The chariot, cancer energy. What do we need to know about this person? 
two of wands. Yeah. So this person, if they've if they've told you that they are making some sort of choice here to move forward or make some sort of action, um, this could even be somebody saying, yeah, I'm going to visit you or I'm going to see you. I don't think they've actually made that decision. I'm going to use my new deck here, Stellar Soulmate. Um, I don't know if this is going to be available by the time that this video goes up. So um, if it is available, it'll be listed in the description box. It will be available for sure. I just don't know when. All right, Spirit. Can I get some more insight into this person that Libra is or will be dealing with? What are their energies? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Libra is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Yeah, this person, I feel like they still have something to tell you. Now we're going to look at where is all of this headed? Where's all of this headed spirit for Libra and this other person? What's next for this connection? What's next for this connection? Wow, two of cups. I have to clarify that. Okay, eight of swords. What's next? Because this two of cups came out with a separation energy, so I want to double check. What else? What else, Spirit? What's next for Libra and this other person? Okay, Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So, sadness, disappointment, regrets. Yeah, someone's not happy here. Whoops. Four of Cups after that. And then the Strength card. Someone needs to find the courage here to get something under control. Leo energy with a strength card. And for some reason, instead, I see them being like burdened here. Like I see them being overwhelmed, like bogged down, weighed down by this situation. Tell me about this two of cups. My God, can I... I, my, my, oh my god, the tower came out again. See? There's something here with this two of cups. A tower moment. We have the world. Yeah, this is like the ending of a cycle here. There is a connection that's ending. I don't know if it's between you and this person or somewhere else, but it's almost like this is something that someone needs to, to address. There's the Ace of Swords and then the Temperance card again. Sagittarius energy. I feel like there needs to be open and honest communication in order for there to be harmony here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Three of Wands. Yeah, I see someone like hesitating, waiting feeling stuck here knight of pentacles i know that they want to have a new opportunity to go after a new opportunity but for some reason i think this separation this tower has to happen um, because someone i feel can't keep this up with the ten of wands tell me about the eight of swords wow ace of sword i mean ace of cups so once again the ace of cups shows up Someone is, I feel, there's love here. You know, there's love here. And I feel like someone wants a new opportunity in love. But the Eight of Swords is almost like a card about restriction. There's no movement here. Someone's blindfolded. They can't even see where they're going. All they're doing is thinking and almost like mentally blocking themselves. Tell me about this Ten of Wands.
Queen of Pentacles. I really hope that you're not dealing with someone who's in a commitment because the Queen of Pentacles for me and the King of Pentacles, they tend to already be in some sort of a commitment. This person could feel um, overwhelmed or weighed down by responsibilities. Maybe they provide for a family member or take care of a family member. Oh my God, I don't know what's up with this, my decks today. The Hermit, Virgo energy. The Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. Wow, Scorpio energy. Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. This is a complete change. It's almost like while this person is being bogged down, they're thinking about how something needs to change. Something needs to change. And that change requires an ending. There is no other way. The way that I see it here. The tower comes with the world. The death card comes with the wheel of fortune. Very similar energy. That's the only way someone can have balance. Six of pentacles. That's the only way that something is going to feel fair to someone. Um... I really hope that this person, it, it, you know, and, and it's sad because they already know. They already know what they should be doing. Or they already know what must be done. They're just psyching themselves out here from what needs to be done. And it could be that there's going to be, you know, I don't want to rag on this person or anything like that. It's not as easy as just walking away and ending cycles um, that's not an easy thing to do because we're human and we have attachments we have fears we have doubts and we have bad habits and um, negative traits and negative ways of, of thinking sometimes and we can get in our own path basically we can block ourselves from our blessings everybody goes through this and so I feel like that's part of being human that's part of life as a journey is learning to make those difficult decisions and following through and having faith that it's going to work out on the other side, you know? Um, but spirit cannot force us to make these difficult choices. This is going to be up to us. Now, the hermit is here, which gives me hope because this is someone that's listening to their intuition, listening to their inner voice. Thank you so much for watching, Libra. If this resonated for you, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments um, if this resonated, if you found any insight from the reading or if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you again for your support, for your continued uh, support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.